Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about collision theory. Collision theory is a way of explaining rates of reaction based on how particles collide with each other, so bump into each other. There's four different um, things that we need to know about to do with collision theory. So basically, to begin with, in order for a chemical reaction to happen, the particles need to collide with enough energy for a reaction to occur. If they don't collide, no reactions can occur. So there's four things that we know that influence this. Number one is temperature. So let's imagine we have these two different types of particle which need to react with each other, okay? So we're reacting the blue particles with the red ones here. Now, if it's really cold, these particles are going, not going to have much kinetic energy. That's movement energy. So they're going to be moving around slowly. This means that their collisions aren't going to be very frequent. So there's a slow rate of reaction. The more we heat this up, the faster these particles go, the more kinetic energy they have. As a result, there will be more frequent collisions and a faster rate of reaction. The second thing we need to know about is concentration. So all concentration means is how many particles we have within a particular volume. So let's imagine this right here. At the moment, we have a relatively low concentration of these particles, meaning there's not many of these particles within this volume. This means that there's not going to be very frequent collisions. If we increase the concentration, so let's say we've got loads more of these particles now, we can see because there's more of the particles, there's going to be more frequent collisions. Therefore, we're going to have a faster rate of reaction. So the higher the concentration, the greater the rate of reaction. Now, the third thing we need to know about is surface area. So, surface area. Let's imagine that this is a little block of our reactant. Let's say if we drop this and reacted it with some acid, we can only react on the external surfaces at any one time. So the surface area limits the rate of reaction. I'm going to use these kind of sponges to demonstrate this idea. So imagine this was my reactant that I was putting in some acid, reacting with some acid. At the moment, the acid can only work and react with the external surfaces. So there's going to be a limited rate of reaction. If I was to break this into smaller pieces, we can now see there's more surface available for the acid to react on. Because by breaking it apart, we expose more surface to react with. So the greater the surface area, the faster the rate of reaction, because we have more surfaces that can react at any one time. The fourth and final thing we need to know about are catalysts. So a catalyst is something which speeds up a rate of reaction without being used up itself. And this is how it works. The surface of the catalyst acts as a surface for our particular reactants to react. So rather than just moving around, they can actually react upon the surface of the catalyst, like this. So as a result, this, ca this surface, this catalyst, has provided a surface for this reaction. Notice how the catalyst isn't being used up itself, it's just providing a surface for this reaction to occur. So, those are the four different things we need to know about collision theory. The greater the temperature, the faster the particles move, so the, uh, there's more collisions, faster rate of reaction. The higher the concentration, the more particles there are in the volume, in that volume, the more collisions there are, the faster the rate of reaction. 
the greater the surface area, the greater the rate of reaction. And by having a catalyst, we provide a surface which also speeds up the rate of reaction. Thank you very much.